honey glaze. between the two of you if you can properly prove something. Give them like a tenor if they're sort of vaguely convincing. <laughs> the NCLC that fight these types of ideas, um, when you first show up, you're full of piss and vinegar and you want to fight. You want to you wanna duke it out with someone. You want to, a lot of times, you want to uh, you want to win. You want to embarrass someone. You want to get over on them. You want to, you know, dominate them. That's that's the way I felt. And she was one of the first that I ever heard say, you know, if you just have a conversation with people and treat them with respect and be nice to them and really give them a chance to understand uh, where we're coming from, um, you'll have a much better chance of getting them over to our side than by pounding them over the head or embarrassing them. So um, thank you for that lesson back then, and I think it still applies today. Thanks, Gene. Then you have to stay the open. We, we didn't really get a chance to talk about how long I'm supposed to talk, and that's always a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but you right off in a matter of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this, was re this has been a really fun evening, hasn't it? That yeah. Was And I was very touched by the video. Thank Peter so stood up to the doctors and he said no. He refused to accept that he had cancer. The six <laughs> different doctors told me. And then there were a few technical differences. <laughs> now, uh, have you noticed how many references to evolution and to Darwin there has been tonight? I hate to say it, but even though I am retiring before the end of the year, this cause is going to go on. So I assume all of you will continue to support the National Center. I'll bet most of you didn't know, only a few people, probably Robert Schaefer among them, I actually have been involved in independent investigations of pseudoscience. Back in 1987, I was part of the Bay Area Skeptics investigation of the notorious uh, faith healer, um, uh, W.B. Grant. That was a long time ago. Um, I was cured of blindness by Dr. Grant. It was very kind of God to tell Dr. Grant about my blindness. I'm a little nearsighted, but I'm certainly not blind. It's too bad that God didn't tell Dr. Grant that five years before I was in traction for a bad a slit, a slit disc. If only God had cured my lousy back instead of my non-existent blindness. But one of these days, one of these days I will write that up and, and you will all uh, hear my story of my uh, episode is Blind Victoria, uh, Faith Healy. And it was quite a good experience of the Bay like, Area skeptics. So my heart is with the IIG and the things that you guys do. It's very important to investigate these claims of the paranormal and to show the public why these extraordinary claims, as Carl Sagan called them, need extraordinary evidence. And that evidence is not forthcoming. Thank you so much for this honor. I'm very honored by joining such an august list of skeptics and scientists. And I thank you very much for enjoying this wonderful evening with you. And thank you to for you <laughs> uh, It's I'm, I'm, I've been looking forward to this. Uh, partly because um, David asked me, um, he remembers very well this time last year when I did this show, I didn't really get to enjoy it because I had some kind of stomach bug. Uh, so this time last year, I was very grateful for the podium. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, uh, it's nice to be healthy. I've, I finally, after six years of being here, I've sorted out health insurance in this country. I'm feeling secure now. Uh, I know. I, last time I was, I was risking it. I, um, being a bit healthy, I had my flu shot this year as well. Um, yeah, which is cool. It means I can indulge my hobby of getting strangers to cough in my mouth. <laughs> Give me opportunity, but I'm not as selective as you may think. <laughs> so over <we're> now. <laughs> this is what every soul song is about. <laughs> Everybody 
milkmaid's cowpox box. And he injected it into his gardener's son. <laughs> right, that was just a thing he was allowed to do. No one stopped him. He was just allowed to go, well, listen, here's the deal. I'm rich, you're poor. I'm going to put pus in you. And then, if that wasn't enough, he repeatedly exposed that kid to smallpox. And because the kid didn't die, he's now known as one of the fathers of modern medicine. As opposed to a horrible child abuser. You guys are obviously clear advocates for that kind, for this kind of thing. Nowadays, it's a lot more sophisticated. Nowadays, uh, I don't know if you've got any medical professionals, and you have amazing equipment, machinery, devices. Uh, it's just not as much fun. <laughs> you, you've got an incredible thing. Do you know medical science is the main user worldwide of helium? Uh, you're right. There's some nods in the room. Oh, helium is incredibly important for 2013. The truly terrible. God damn, that's hard to say. I'm fix my teeth. The truly terrible television award is for movies and shows voted by our members as, well, falling short of the standards we think are acceptable for informing the public on matters relating to science and the supernatural. You know, they suck. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I know the shows are intended as entertainment, but we think some shows just love to take a leak in the public pool of truth. <laughs> <laughs> and the Brookstone people were there, they had their headphones and a boom mic, and they were like, oh shit, should we call somebody? <laughs> that person is fisting a gorilla. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Some sick son of a bitch is gonna sleep to this later. <laughs> it's so aggressive, I can't even tell you guys. And then he, my husband says, look, if it's bothering you, if you can't sleep, maybe you should go get some earplugs. <laughs> so you're making this my problem? Like, and I did, I went down to CVS and I got a bag, they sell them in bags, I got a bag of earplugs, and then that night, I shut the bag down his throat. <laughs> Great. <laughs> 